wiring your meter like this using two double poles it's also very important because uh, you can be able to relocate this meter from this meter box to another meter box within the same premise and you not interfere or tamper with this meter okay guys welcome to joatech electrical contractors limited youtube channel and in our today's video i'm going to show you how to properly wire your residential prepaid energy meter okay i know i have been receiving photos videos and there are so many questions uh from our fellow electricians asking how to properly wire a residential prepaid energy meter reason being so many electricians have been doing it long eh? all vice versa which are uh, not good or safe for your uh, meter and your client house or premises okay so today i'm going to show you the proper wire to terminate your kplc prepaid energy meter with me here i have this model of prepaid energy meter which is smart meter technology 2023 model and uh, the reason why i have decided to do this video it is because you find some people wiring this meter the input coming from the cutout then to meter then mcb double pole then into the house but that is wrong okay the correct way to organize this meter or to wire this meter is whereby you do like this this is a cutout it is called a cutout uh, and this is where the kplc service keyboard drops that keyboard as you can see that keyboard runs from the pole or from the clip uh, then it drops in this cutout so once it drops here what you're supposed to do is to use this double pole which is mcb 63 to wire your prepaid energy meter so once the kplc drops their cable here then you're supposed to use the correct size of the cable from 6.0 and above as you can see this is 10.0 cable it will be wired or oh, this is the output for this cutout it goes in the double pole mcb double pole as you can see from here up to here then the output for this double pole as you can see then it goes and become the input of this meter so these wires are going in the meter these two wires so these wires are input for this prepared energy meter however they are output for this double pole or mcb double pole organizing your meter like this it means you have protected your kplc prepaid meter from any short circuit or any problem that can occur yeah before the meter anything wrong like short circuit occur for the meter this double pole trip okay once it trips like this it means your meter will go off and your meter will be protected right then from there to tamper mode you can as well and another double pull so for the future use or to avoid opening this terminal cover in the future if you'd like to add another road so if you'd like to add another road in the future you not come and open this terminal cover because if you open this terminal cover this meter will switch to tamper mode so therefore since you're not be able to open this meter you're supposed to use this mcb double pole another mcb double pole c63 whereby this is the input for the meter 
and then this is the output these two wires so these two wires comes in this double pole or mcb double pole and they are input for this double pole then once the once we have our power here then we can be able to have the road in the lower side of the double pole okay so this is the output for this final I have said the advantage of using another extra double pole is because in the future if you'd like to add another detached uh, road or detached house load you not come and open this terminal cover otherwise you go here on our second double pole open here and add that extra road uh, looking from my video as I was explaining I have two different loads one is for the main house and the other one is for the SQ I never wanted to put all my wires from this meter since my 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 my, my load one if you have if you can see this keyboard is 10.0 millimeter the other one is 6.0 millimeter this is too big for this meter even if I was terminating them all together I wouldn't have preferred to terminate them from the meter because in the future it might give me a problem i mean the terminal covers for the meter might give me a problem in the future but by use of this double pole i can replace this double pole whenever i want without interfering with this meter so this is the advantage of using the second double pole however if the road is for a single unit of the house especially when we are doing the termination of multiple meters in a uh, in a commercial or a lento uh, uh, apartment or a lento houses we have multiple meters you're not supposed to use the second double pole because once you are done with that unit of one bedroom two bedroom then you are done uh, you not be going back there again uh, i mean that house will not uh, be will not give uh, another extra house like sq but for the residential where uh, there is a, a own compound house two bedroom three bedroom and above and in the future that person decides to well, add another detached house you need a road from this meter so that extra road that is what i'm saying you're not supposed to come and open this meter because they switch to tamper mode you're supposed to come to the second double pole and terminate your cables from there wiring your meter like this using two double poles also very important because uh you can be able to relocate this meter from this meter box to another meter box within the same premise and you not interfere or tamper with this meter okay so that is the advantage of using two double poles again uh, by looking my video you can be able to see that this is the correct arrangement of a residential meter you use the first double pole which is coming from the cutout then meter then another mcb double pole. you are not supposed to use a nice orator double pole a nice orator double pole it will never trip just in case there is some short circuits uh, either before the meter or after the meter okay so this double pole i have added here it is not that important unless you are putting a provision of uh, getting another road from the same meter without interfering the meter so you can decide to use it or not to use it but the advantage of using it is because in the future you not come here to either cut the road wires or these wires coming from the meter you cut and then start making joint here for another extra road of a detached house otherwise you come to this double pole and get your power from this specific double pole however you can go ahead and use one or two depending your future provisions or the future plans for a good electrician who looks the future go for two double poles so the first double pole and the second double pole. this first double pole is very important you're not supposed to terminate it here okay so i'm saying this it is strictly 
if you don't have this double pole here and you have this here then this one has no importance here okay because the first thing is safety or safety comes first so protect your meter first by the first mcp double pole then you can add the other double pole okay so for those electricians who normally wire this meter direct from the cutout and then mcb double pole you you're doing it wrong eh? stop doing that make sure that you have protected your meter using this mcb double pole it must be c63 can you use another mcb double pole which is higher but i don't recommend or it is not recommended c63 uh, it will work so efficient together with the road that this meter can accommodate right talking of earth the earth must be done properly from a cutout as you can see uh, it goes like that and uh, this is where we have a body mat for this meter box and then there is another earth which is coming from here going inside the house so this is the uh, earth for the load or the earth going inside the house and this one is coming from the PMA as you can see so the earth must be done well and they should all meet here where you're supposed to have a, a boarding nut all right uh, so that's all for today's video thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe